Hello everyone. Today's topic is under calendars. There won't be any general specification of the topic where you would be getting questions, but this is a very basic important topic under calendars. So what it is? Odd days in century years. In previous videos, you must have learned what is an odd day. Usually, whenever we get a number, we just divide that by seven, and whatever the remainder we will get, that is the number of odd days. But now, what is century years? What is odd days in century years? We have also learned about century years in our previous video individually. So a century year is a year which usually ends with zero zero, like hundred, two hundred, six hundred, two thousand. So those ending with zero zero, we call them as a century years. Now have to club them. What is the strategy here? So as I told you that century years is hundred, two hundred, three hundred. So let's try to find out in first hundred years how many odd days you have. This is very important for us to learn to understand this because it would be helpful for us to find the day when we get a specific date. So let's see what it is. So hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. These are the basic we can say years that we need to calculate. Why? Because after every four hundred years, the calendar will repeat. Like the hundred and the five hundred year is same. Similarly, two hundred and six hundred year is the same. Three hundred and seven hundred year is the same, and eight hundred and four hundred are similar. So this way, after every four hundred, that cycle will repeat. So let's main focus on the first four hundred years. So now, when we will talk about the first hundred years, we need to find from those hundred years how many leap years we have and how many ordinary years we have. So when you will divide hundred by four, you will get the number as twenty four. Okay, year it won't come twenty five. It won't be considering the hundredth year as a leap year. Correct? You know very well. Let me just repeat it. The hundredth year is not a leap year. Okay. Similarly, a two hundred and three hundred year is not a leap year. Four hundred is a leap year. Correct? During this cycle, after every eight years, the cycle of a leap year repeats. Usually, we know that after every four years. The cycle of a leap year repeats, but during the century years, it repeats after an eight years. So hundredth year is not a leap year. So from the first hundred years, we have twenty four leap years and seventy six ordinary years. We also know every leap year has two odd days, and every ordinary year has one odd days. So if you will add those up, that is twenty four into two is forty eight. And seventy six into one is seventy six, so total one twenty four. Now quickly we will divide that by seven, and we will get the odd days. So that means we have in the hundredth year seventeen weeks and five odd days. So we have five odd days in the first hundredth year. Now coming to the next part, when we calculate about the two hundred year, how to go that from hundred we have to come to two hundred year. So this is the way. As I told you that hundred year is same as five hundred and nine hundred, two hundred is same as six hundred and one thousand, and so on. So to quickly remember, there is a table for you. As you can see, hundred year is having five odd days. Two hundred year we are doubling it up to ten, but ten cannot be an odd days. So divided by seven, you will get the number three. So in the first two hundred year we have three odd days. Similarly, in the first three hundred year we have one odd day. That is fifteen divided by seven. Seven times two is fourteen. One is the remainder. Now listen carefully. In the four hundred year that fifteen will become twenty, but along with that we have to add one. Can you tell me why that one is that? One is because the four hundred year is a leap year, and we have one extra day there. Correct. So let's add one to that twenty, and you will get twenty one. So twenty one divided by seven, you will get the answer that is zero. That means every four hundred year has zero odd days. Now remember this table, and it would be easy for you to understand the future concept. Okay. On this basis, there could be a kind of questions like which days cannot be repeated or which days cannot end a century year. That means, ऐसे कौन से years हैं जो century year का last day कभी नहीं हो सकते हैं. You can easily see the table. You have the odd days as zero, one, three, and five. So, what are these days? On zero, we have Sunday. On one, we have Monday. Two we have Tuesday, three we have Wednesday, and then four Thursday, five Friday. So Friday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday. These cannot be the ending days of any century year. Other than that, it can be correct. So that's one simple question that can be usually asked. Hope it was clear. See you next time with the next topic. <music>